I don't know why I'm always amazed as to how many little things come along with having a baby. But in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly how I'm keeping all those little things organized on a budget. Hey, I'm Lindsay with Organize to Save, and if we're just meeting, welcome. This channel, I'm here to help you be more productive and get organized all on a budget. Today, we are talking about everything baby. Specifically, I am deep diving into exactly how I'm keeping everything organized into our son's new nursery. Now, if you missed my recent video, I actually did a whole nursery room reveal and walked you through how I designed, implemented, and the entire reveal. But today I'm actually taking you into the drawers and the closet and breaking down how I am keeping everything organized on a tight budget. Now right away when you walk into our son's nursery, you see our dresser, which is actually doing a double duty. So instead of buying a separate changing table and dresser, a great budget saving hack is to just buy one dresser that you can actually utilize as a changing table as well. It's not only going to help you save money, but it's also going to save space in the room as well. Right on the top of the dresser, I'm keeping everything that I need for a quick diaper change. Along with the changing mat next to it, I have a basket that is filled with every Thing that is going to be essential for changing diapers. I got this basket from Target. I absolutely love the leather detail that it had on it. It really ties into the rest of the room's design. But inside it, to keep all those little things corralled, I've just put a little tin floral vase from the Dollar Tree, and that's going to help to keep all those ointments and sanitizers and things like that corralled into one spot. Above the dresser, I do have a couple different shelves. These are primarily for decoration, but I am storing a couple essential oils up there, so that way, as we need them to put into the diffuser at nighttime, they're easily accessible. Now let's dive into the inside of this dresser. In the room reveal, I actually show you how I did a complete DIY makeover on this dresser. So for details, check out that video. And this first drawer is where I'm keeping a lot of the like ointments and binkies and that kind of stuff that I want to easily access, but I don't need out on the changing table. I'm also keeping the little hats, mittens, all of the socks, which, which you will see as we go through this video that this little man is gonna have a ton of clothes. We were extremely blessed by some friends with a bunch of awesome shape hand-me-downs, so he definitely will not be needing any clothes in the near future. To store some of these essential things, I actually found these containers at five below. I really like them because they're clear, so it's going to be really easy to find exactly what I'm looking for, and they have a very low profile, so they fit in the drawer perfectly. I actually shared these containers in a five below organizing video, so if you missed that one, I will have that link down below so you can see all the awesome organizing containers that five below has. Now for the other two drawers, I currently have them divided out by size. Now, obviously I don't know how big or how little this guy's gonna be. So I do have newborn stuff out as well as zero to three months stuff. So that way we can easily access whatever size we need to get to. So in the middle drawer is all of his newborn clothes. Now I've been a huge believer in the file folding or KonMari method for years now, and that is exactly what I implemented into these drawers. I'd love to know from you in the comments down below, are you one that folds your kiddos clothes or do you just have them shove them in the drawer and let them be? You know I'm team folding, but I'm curious to know what you are down in the comments below. I folded each piece so that they were able to actually sit up inside the drawer so that way when you pull out the drawer instead of having all the clothes stacked on top of each other you can easily see everything that you have available now i took this a couple steps further because you know me i love my labels but i actually broke them out by what type of clothes they are and then used these really cool labels that is actually like whiteboard tape so I just used a whiteboard marker and simply cut out the size that I needed for the drawers and used these as my labels. That way as clothes are rotating in and out, I can easily change out those labels by just erasing and rewriting with my whiteboard marker. I will say that this tape did not really stick onto the fabric bin that I had in there. Pulled a little hack out and I grabbed this, it was like a foam tape from the Dollar Tree put that on the back of it and now it sticks really well to these fabric bins. If you're struggling on how to get labels to adhere to these fabric bins, 
check out this stuff. It's awesome, double-sided, and really sticks to that fabric well. Now to keep everything contained inside the drawers, I'm using these drawer dividers that I actually picked up from the Dollar Tree several years ago. I'm not sure if they still carry these, so I will try to find something similar and link it down below. But honestly, you could use anything that would just divide out. Think about even just cardboard boxes that you could fit inside the drawer. Or if you're looking for another alternative, I've done this before in my kitchen and actually used the foam poster board from the Dollar Tree to create a drawer insert. So I'll have that link down below if you wanna check that out. That would be another great way that you could create custom dividers for your dressers. Utilizing containers like this is great because it's gonna allow you to sort things by likeness. I will say this is also gonna be easier for me as I'm putting clothes away. We're gonna be able to know where things go and as the seasons change or the sizes change, we can easily take out things that are no longer fitting him. Now, speaking of growing out of clothes quickly, one of my favorite hacks in kids closets specifically is to create a too small bin. So for our son's closet, I picked up this adorable bin again from Five Below. And I use these really cool metal labels to create a small bin label. So I, I know that is exactly where everything that's too small needs to go. And then once it's full or once you're ready to switch out the closet for the season, you can take everything that's too small and put it away. Now, before we hop into the next thing, if you are liking this video so far, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Now for our closets, if you've seen any of our bedroom makeover videos, you've probably sensed a theme that I really hate the wooden accordion doors that we used to have in this house. So I took them all out and I didn't even put up curtains or anything in here. I'm a firm believer in creating systems in a kid's room that are gonna be able to grow with them and offer them some independence. So even though little man obviously won't be getting his own clothes for quite some time, the system that we have in here is gonna be able to grow with him and allow him at some point in the future to be able to pick out his own clothes. We did this specifically by, instead of having the hanging bar up high in the closet, we brought it down to kid level. We simply took a tension rod and attached it to this bookshelf here, and now all of his hanging clothes are gonna be down at kid level. I had these little labels from Ellie's nursery, and so I threw these in the here so I could keep track of the sizes in the closet. Now down below in the bookshelf, I pulled from different bins that I had on hand, also a few additional ones from the Dollar Tree. You have not checked out the Dollar Tree by now for any of your organizing products, I would highly encourage you to check it out. Now in these bins, I'm keeping things like spare linens, all of the swaddles that we had, which we have a ton right now, blankets, as well as one basket dedicated for extra hangers. I did go ahead and label these so that way as we are emptying them out, we know where things go. And these labels were, again, from the Dollar Tree. They're just chalkboard labels, but instead of using the normal chalkboard marker that I like to use, I ended up using a permanent white marker. And since these are just sticker labels, I can easily take them off and change them as their system changes down the road. Now I wanted to bring a little extra personality into this closet and again in that makeover video I showed you exactly how to do this really cool paint detail but I also hung a couple things up on the wall especially since I am having this as an exposed closet. I wanted to tie it into the rest of the room. And then this wood sign was a fun little DIY that I did. The sign itself actually came from the Target Dollar Spot. The black letter stickers came from the Dollar Tree. These were a new find for me. These were super easy to apply to the wood board. You just cut out your letters, rub them on, and take the transfer off. So I mentioned earlier that we are storing all the extra diapers and wipes somewhere else, and that is in the top of the closet. All of these containers that you see came from the Dollar Tree, surprise, surprise. And the very top row I have dedicated to just refill station. That is also where I ended up using those really cool transfer letters as well, along with those really cool galvanized labels from the Dollar Tree as well. And then on the second shelf, these gray bins is where I'm just keeping the next size up close. So right now, these are all three to six month sizes, 
but I'm using those chalkboard labels so I can easily erase that off and change it out as the different sizes change that go into the bins. Obviously, all of this laundry at some point is gonna become dirty laundry. So a fun little hack I wanted to share with you that I used with my daughter and I'm gonna be using again with this little guy is for all of the little things, think all the little socks, mittens, all those things that can easily get lost in the laundry, go ahead and grab a laundry bag and clip it to the inside of your laundry hamper. This is gonna be a game changer and help you to keep track of all of those little things. Once it's filled up, zip it up, throw it in your wash. You will no longer be losing all of those little mittens and socks. Now there's one other spot in this room that needed a little bit of organization. And that is our little nightstand over by the rocker. Now this one is obviously going to change and fluctuate as we are using this room. Right now I put a couple different organizers in the top drawer and this is gonna be my kind of essential quick grab station for when I am in here nursing. I just have a few things in here, but like I said, as I'm actually using this room, I'll be filling this up with everything that I need. Second drawer, I don't know about you, but with my daughter when I was nursing her, I got so hungry in the middle of the night, so this is gonna be mama's snack drawer. I'm gonna be keeping different bars and things like that that I can easily grab to. Third drawer is where I'm keeping all the burp cloths, and then the bottom one is where I'm keeping some extra swaddle blankets so I can easily grab them. Now, like I said, I'm sure that these systems and things are going to fluctuate as we're actually using the space, but for right now, we have great systems set in place everything labeled and ready to go for little man to arrive. If you missed the actual room makeover video, go check that out on your screen right now and we'll see you in the next video.